what is EFT? What is tapping? And I, and I mean, anybody who's serious that's listening, like, okay, Joel, you mean to tell me if I tap a couple of times here and I tap a couple of times on these meridian points, all of a sudden I'm going to get better. It just sounds too ridiculous. So Kim, tell them why they're wrong and why tapping and how it works. So your brain wave frequencies are sort of like governing everything happening in your system, your nervous system, your immune system, your endocrine system. There's a governing uh, frequency. So if you're in your beta ba brain wave, which is like doing my thing, processing, like the computer is on full force. Um, you're in the programming of like what you already know, what you've learned. And anybody who's done meditation understands like you got to release that and come slower into like the alpha state or even the theta state to allow new information in. That will not occur to you when you're in beta because beta is like, I'm moving and grooving. I already know what I'm doing. Thanks. I don't have time for that. You're not letting new information in. So once you shift that, it actually shifts your physiology. Uh, it allows your body to be in greater resilience, greater harmony. That's why just meditating alone is, is going to be healing. But the major, major thing is letting in new information and new awareness. So letting new information in is no joke. It, it, it can be very threatening to the psyche and the system. Uh, but when we do come into a lower, slower brainwave state, which is what happens with tapping, we let new information in. It's very easy to have the insight and the awareness and the realization of like, oh, whoa, there's a lot of fear here. And to let those energies move. So tapping is a, a way to sort of counterbalance that high beta frequency, the faster uh, brainwave state to slow it down so we can perceive at a deeper level.